how y'all doing? Say Y'all already know, Springfield already sent their uh, trials out to everyone and they ran them and they posted them the date that they were supposed to release it and they've had it for weeks and they've worked out the kinks and all that stuff, but I just got my hands on that Springfield Echo. Now, I y'all already know, this is... I had to come out of pocket for this myself. Um, my gun shop, my local gun shop, they came about it. They said, hey, yo, we got one. If you want it, you better come get it. And that's exactly what I did because I know this is something you guys have a lot of questions about. And um, I know y'all probably feeling like, mm, can we trust it or can we not? But y'all know y'all come here for the real, real as far as this goes. And we are going to talk about it. Um, again, I would really rather or prefer them to send this out in a hard case uh, because I like the hard cases, but Springfield does send their stuff out in a nice little pouch. And their pouches are not bad. I mean, they're easy to take around or whatever, but there's no handle, so you pretty much gotta like hold it under your arm or whatever. But this is what it comes in. Let's go through the box really quick. You get your lock, um, you get your um, Q, what is it? QC, quality control. So I know it shoots. So let's see how well it shoots. Um, Cause I have not had the greatest experience with my Springfield pistols. As far as Springfield goes, the only thing that they made um, that I own that I feel like it's really worth um, what it is that I paid is my Prodigy four and a quarter, not even the Prodigy five inch, just my four and a quarter, just my XDMs and all those. I'm not, I, I, I'm not a big fan of them. Oh no, that, that these are pistols. The Hellion is the bullpup. Now that now, if we talking about Springfield rifles, bullpups, they own the money. They know what they're doing. They've handled that, and I really, really enjoy them. My M1As, my F chef's kicks, that's for sure. But when you find your lane, you got to stay in your lane. So when you go exploring and doing different things, obviously you're gonna have hiccups and stuff. So um, and that's where I find. That's what I find when it comes to the Springfield handguns. Now, in the box, you are gonna have a mag loader, which is a very nice looking mag loader, and it comes with two magazines. You have a 17 round magazine and a 21 round magazine. Very nice extended yeah, um, extension on here. Very solid feeling magazine, so I'm sure these loadings are going to be good. It also comes with two additional back straps Besides the back strap that comes on the pistol, the pistol has the medium back strap. You have your small and your large if you would like to um, change those out. We also have an extended base plate. So I guess if you wanted to switch out, you'd make your 17 rounder a little bit, you know, a little longer, you have the ability to do so. And let's get right into this bag. I'm excited. I'm very excited because I, as well, have watched a few reviews and everybody has um, pretty much the same outcome or opinion about it. So I'm a little, hmm, let's see. I'm, I'm a little iffy about that, but we're gonna find out today. All right, so here is our firearm and the firearm is clear. The flag is in there. So for right now, we're just gonna talk about it as it is. Right now, we are running the Hollison 407C with the solar panel, you have your night front sight and your U rear sight. Um, there is an option for you to get the three dots, but um, that was not an option that I had. I had to get what I had. Now you do not lose your rear sight, which I can very much so appreciate it. And um, you can also co-witness your sights um, with your red dot. So you're not losing any of those functions as far as your red dot and your sights go, which is absolutely great. If you look, let me give you a quick, clear check on this. Take this fly out. All right, the pistol is clear. I'm gonna drop that so we can continue. Now, the front serrations, super aggressive front serrations, and I am loving that. Rear serrations as well are very, very pronounced. And um, for sweaty hands and all that good stuff, I can see, well, you will not have a problem. But if you look back here, there's also a little lip 
on that that will allow you to pinch the slide and also rack it beautifully excellent and um they have the slide release is ambidextrous so this is a fully ambidextrous pistol so your slide release is ambi and your mag release is ambi i don't know how i feel about that because um i am afraid i am going to ride the right side slide release i mean mag release and it may cause my slide to drop out so exactly right now i don't know how i feel about that once i start shooting i'll find out if that is going to be a problem but as far as the mag release on the left side does feel quite nice um it does have the textured uh we're gonna get into that texture too because i am loving this texture on this grip it does have a textured uh, mag release that does feel very very nice and so far so good as far as the ergonomics of it and how it actually feels in the hand but if you look right here your memory pad for your thumb and this takedown lever kind of reminds me of the p320s um if you look at the SIGs, you know, the 320 as far as like the Spectre Comp and all that stuff, their gas pedal also serves as the takedown pin. And it looks like they tried to do something um, the same, but it's not as pronounced. So it's not as flared out as a standard gas pedal, but it does have a nice lip on there for you to put your thumb um, when you're actually shooting this pistol, which is a great thing because that's something that I look for a lot now when I um, Either it's an upgrade or when I am looking for pistols that they have something that has that thumb memory on there Now you can also see here. It also has that same Gritty texture, but it's not sandpaper aggressive. It almost feels silky like uh, like a sand um, you know how when you if you wet your hand and you put your hand in sand, how the sand just leaves that imprint on your hand. It's a very silky sand texture, aggressively enough for you not to lose your grip, but it's smooth enough for it not to fatigue your hand as far as, you know, when you're shooting and trying to maintain that master grip on that pistol. Now, let's go back to the actual grip. Now, these grips are modular, so this polymer frame you can now get them in different sizes so it comes in small medium and large and you can pretty much drop your brain which is your um your trigger system into those and keep going so not only do you have this small medium large back strap option to where you can replace those you can also have the modular grip portion, which is the actual frame of the pistol that gives you the small, medium, large option. That is gene. I mean, I've, it's not nothing new. This is something SIG has been doing for many years, but this is something new to Springfield. And I think it's, um, they're trying to keep up with the industry as far as um, when it goes to duty pistols. And um, it's like, it's either you keep up or get left behind. And I think they're, they're starting to get the message as far as keeping up now your trigger i have been playing with the trigger quite a bit just feeling out feeling it out i have not shot this pistol yet but i can tell on here already that the take up is um the take up is pretty standard let me see if i can do it with my left hand the take up seems to be pretty standard and the actual shot feels good now the reset is quite short there it is shot reset shot so the trigger is flat it does have a safety on the trigger and i am enjoying that as well if you can look here it's not a um, thin flat trigger the trigger seems to be a quite wide flat situation and i think i am going to really really love that um, I did say we were running the Holliston. We have the Surefire X300 on here as well. And I think I have covered everything. Oh, no, I didn't. Another gripe that I have with the pistol industry or in the firearms industry is plates, optic plates, and, and just trying to, um, if you are gonna sell me something that is optic ready, please send me the plate, a universal plate that I can use with, um, you know, 
quite a few of the optic options that are on the market. But what Springfield has done is they've created these little uh, tabs. So the tab options come one, two, and three. And what these tabs do is they um, act as a footprint, depending on how you situate them on the slide, acts as a footprint for up to 30 different optic brands on the market. So you would get these tabs, you would insert them into the slide, and it would pretty much create that footprint that your, your plate would be giving you normally, and um, put your, your, your optic on it. So you have three, you have your pin set one, pin set two, pin set three. I am assuming that pin set one is already installed on the slide because I only have two and three here, and it was a direct mount for my Holosyn 407C. No complaints. It went on with no problems. And um, I can appreciate that so, so, so much from um, Springfield. Now, am I going to like it? Feel-wise, ergonomic, the, the actual, you know, pushing out and feeling the grip on here, had I not had an option to make the changes as far as small, medium, large, I would be 100% satisfied with what it is. But when you have options, why not go with your options? But if, you, if, if I enjoy the shoot, that would be the medium. This is the medium, so the small, the small grip with the medium back strap, I feel would be a perfect fit in my hand. Although I have a excellent grip on here, excellent grip. I feel like it's going to be a great shoot. So with that being said, if you have any questions, please drop that in the comment section. We will definitely, definitely be talking about it. And um, ain't nothing left to do now. But what, Alex? Shoot it. Shoot it. <laughs> I even say shoot him up. Shoot it. Shoot him up and shoot it down range. All right, so let's do that. Let's go. In order to be involved with that type of pistol, you have to master the grip first, mm -hmm. and then there. But it's not shooting, yeah, because you're not. It's not. You're not gripped right. But even that is uncomfortable. That's when it's ugly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, y'all. So let me suit them up so we can set them down range. I'm doing. Ignacio says I'm doing too much talking. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, so I usually do 100 round test. Um, because these magazines are a greater capacity, we are going to do about 150 rounds. And to see how we feel it. Now, my red dot. My Hollison is straight out of the box. I'm gonna see as well how on that is. Um, but this is not a, we're not checking the, we're not zeroing today. All we wanna know is it, is it going to run? Is it going to run? All right, that dot is on. All right, our magazines are preloaded. They were kind of stiff, but it's expected. They are brand new. Once, I'm gonna, you know, leave a few rounds in there and see if it'll loosen up for me. But I am gonna go in with the flush magazine first. So that is the flush look. And we are going to get our, that was nice. That was very nice. Let's get our first shot and see how I feel. That was nice.
Wait a minute now. <laughs> Wait a minute. Drop that slide. Oh, sorry. That's how it looks with the extension. I am impressed two magazines in no failures felt really good in the hand the trigger feels more on the performance side um wait 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 let's reload let's reload all right as i was telling you the magazines are a little stiff but we don't that's nothing we can't get past but as far as the functions the uh the feel, the shoot. I am very much so enjoying this. Uh, the trigger, the trigger is a very, yes, the take up on the trigger feels like it's, you know, a little long. Once you find that wall and you squeeze, it's instant. The reset is instant. So um, we're gonna manipulate it a little bit and see um, exactly uh, what happens. Can we choke it up? Can we, you know, see is it going to run you know consecutively and wow all right let's, let's do this all right let's go back in with the flush magazine oh slide went four that's nothing that just means that she's ready ability to co-witness my sights uh, with the red dot or I can was still able to use my sights um, I was you know I think I was pretty uh, efficient in it I sped up my shots a little bit yeah I do have uh, more stragglers than I would like to have but I can only imagine the shoot with um, the red dot being dead on I can only imagine but so far I am very satisfied with the way that looks and the way this is shooting. So let's get reloaded. Oh, yeah, we have. So this will be, we're definitely gonna do 150 rounds. Let's get this out of the way. Okay, now we're gonna go for the head. We have the two magazines loaded. Flush magazine first, slide went forward, no problem.
only have a handful left. Let's get these loaded and get them out. Wow. This is what I like. This is what I like. When you take the time out and you put something together worthwhile for the consumer, they, they just take a little time. That's all. It's okay for you uh, not be the fastest dog on the track. You just finish and finish strong. Last few. Slide went forward. One hundred and fifty rounds of just fantastic ism. Is that a word? <laughs> Let's look at the target. Mm. Don't like that, but this is fantastic. Wow. All right, y'all. Let's clean up and let's go have some words. I'm ready for these words. Boy, oh boy. What a fantastic shoe. Absolute delight. Okay, the pistol is clear. Ah, she's hot, but let me put this in. Magazine is clear or empty. And let's have these words. You guys, they done it with this one. They absolutely did a fantastic job with putting this together. As far as the duty pistol goes, they did it. I feel like it will qualify for the runnings. <laughs> now, like I said, they have caught up and they're in that space to where it can, they can possibly make it with this. The trigger is beautiful. The grips are great. The sights are awesome. Like I said, my red dot was not on point, but I was still able to use my iron sights. The fact that I do not lose my iron sights is a big, big deal for me. And they are there. They co-witness very, very well and they run. The feeling of this, the grip of this, that fine sand feeling that I was just telling you about, they have put this on every inch of this pistol. So you have it on your, the, your base plate on your magazine, you have it on your grip, you have it on your memory um, pad, on your, um, on your, uh, <laughs> on your frame, couldn't get that out. Um, you have it on underneath your trigger guard. You have it, I mean, it's just everywhere. And if you look right here, it's even right here on the front of that pistol. Absolutely great. The serrations in the slide are well. I really didn't do any wrapping with my hands because as you can see, when I loaded aggressively, the slide went forward, which is not a bad thing in my opinion, especially with quick reloads. Um, when you smack that in, that slide goes forward, that just means you're ready to take that shot. So I'm not mad at that at all. But as far as the ambidextrous goes, um, the ambidextrous slide mag release, it also has an ambidextrous slide release, um, if I didn't mention that earlier. So you can do that left and right handed shooters are able to drop the slide um, with, engage it with their, um, with their thumb. Now the mag release, which I thought I was gonna have an issue with, I did not, it did not interfere with my grip at all. I was afraid that the mag was gonna fall and it did not. So it's actually placed perfectly in that crevice um, with uh, that grip. I don't, I'm not the type to really put my finger in between when I'm shooting. I kind of keep my fingers low. So I did not struggle with that at all. Y'all, they, if I can just pronounce this properly, the echelon, echelon. Y'all good with breaking that down for me. Make sure you drop that in the comments. The Echelon is an absolute fantastic pistol. Like I was saying earlier about the trigger, the trigger almost feels like a performance trigger. Um, I would not change it or do anything to that. It is a perfect package as it is. Yes, now, now that I've said it, I feel, I feel like it's a, it holds a little bit more weight 
Um, because like I said, you know, everybody else who reviewed this pistol, they've had it for weeks. They've had it, you know, for long enough to run it, feel it, know if they liked it or not, know if it's going to run a certain type of ammunition. Um, had a chance to call him and say, hey, mine is having these problems, what should I do? That's not what we do here. Um, as you know, this came straight out of the pocket and I brought it directly to you for that honest review. And I can honestly say this is a great shoot. Yes, it is, I, I must say. You've got to give flowers and flowers are due and they've done it. But Yo Gang, listen, if you have not yet checked out www.yogang.com, make sure that you do. Pick up a t-shirt or a patch. That is how I continue to make things like this happen. Thank you so much for the support. Y'all already know I love it when things work and I love y'all for life. Peace. Yes, sir.